now so today's video i am going to show you how to cook a very hot chili chicken wrap it's um i'm just cooking that i'm not cooking no else with it so i'm going to show you how to make this as you can see there so um i would um i hope you would enjoy the video i know what it's not like i hard me to do but if there's some of you learning how to cook for the first time, then fair enough. When when I was living at home with my mum, um, I didn't really cook no apart from chips or toast or bacon sandwiches. Where I didn't get to cook roast dinners, blah, blah, blah. She wouldn't let us use the cooker oven or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so I thought to do a quick, simple, easy meal idea. So yeah. So I'm going to show you the video now and then when I come back and cook it, I will have a taste test with you all. Right, so I am going to show you how to do these wraps. So first of course you need your oil. Let your pan pan warm up. So um, I just put my little fan on um, because it can be a bit um, loud in the kitchen. So I just don't want like like loud talking. So as you can hear the sizzling. So you got to like keep and turn it over like that. Yeah. By the way, um, if if you can see a bit of like muck down there, so as, um, I do need to get the oven now and give it a good clean and everything. It's 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 because it's got like gaps in the. Fingers. So I'm going to turn up the um, ob up to five. It was on four. These ones, while well, it's cooking, these are chicken breast mini fillets, large pack. I got these from Lidl's at 600 grams. I can't remember exactly how much I paid. I might have the receipt actually, give me two seconds. Right, so these was 3 99 Is that a good bargain? As you can hear it now cooking. I don't really want to like talk talk in the kitchen because I might be thinking I'm crazy and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. So this is what you do for time being. So I'm gonna pause it until it goes brown. Then to push a bit. Okay, like that. I'm gonna come back to those very shortly and I'll tell you how many minutes I've done it for. So as you can see, this has been about three minutes so far. In the meantime, while that is still doing that, I've got some lettuce and a tortilla wrap. I've got lettuce from Lidl. It's going a bit brown there. And this is tortilla wraps from Aldi's. I think there was like a, a pound. And the lettuce was 69 pence. Then this is the sauce that I've got to use then. For 125. As you can see it's starting to brown a bit but you still need it more than that. As you can see the pink. I'm up in Canary's video. As you can see there it's the pink. I'm 
you've got to come back when it's like sort of cooked to add the sauce. So what I do sometimes, if there's a bit like oily, I do empty it. Get what I mean? So, so then cook, um, chicken's not cooking in loads of oil. Get what I mean? You can see it's starting to look really nice. So now I'm going to start adding the sauce. This is 125 from a bargain shop. It's called Regal, very hot cheese sauce. So I'm just going to coat it in. I've never tried this stuff like this before. I don't want to use loads and loads anyway because I don't put them down. You know what I mean? I'm going to just coat it in it. Ooh, it smells really nice. Just look at it, it looks really nice. What I'm going to do, well that is cooking a little bit, I'm going to put all my other things back. So it smells really nice, so it looks like it's done now. I say it took about 15-ish minutes to cook it all together. This has only been a few minutes caught in the chilli sauce. I just want the chilli sauce nice and warm through the heat. You know, so it's not a cold sauce. But look at it, it looks so good. So, because I don't want the chicken overburnt and everything, now we've got to serve that. Does this look nice everyone? Now what I'm going to do, because it's awkward, I'm going to pour the sauce onto it and I'll show you. Right all, so, I've, um, so I have cooked it. So this is the sauce what I'm using. This is very hot chilli sauce, hot and spicy. By Regal, I got this for one pound twenty-five from the discount discount store, but I think you could find it in a um, Asian, Indian kind of international food stores, maybe, or maybe B and M, etc. Place like that. But but I got this from like my local like bargain kind of place. So I'm gonna be test testing this now. You can see it looks really, really nice. It smells really nice. And I'll try a piece by itself. You can see. Put that chicken. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Like, like um, some people can overcook the chicken in the pan well this is just nice and tender so like i said it's well nice by itself i just put a bit of lettuce on i ain't got no yogurt sauce or no i ain't got no cucumber or tomato either but it doesn't matter i've done a bit of lettuce so let's give it a test test Like I said, it was just quick quick and simple to cook. I got my chicken, like I said, from Lidl's. You can see that. I can't really fold up, that's good. <laughs> and well, let's give it a go. Mmm. It's really, very really nice. I think it reminds me of a bit of like, do you know like your KFC, but better? Or is it McDonald's or do like a hot, hot kind of sweet one, um, chicken? These are really nice. 
I've got to admit that is one nice nice wrap for of mud. I know it's meant by me, but I'm not trying to be big headed, but that's it. The chicken is nice and tender. I ain't overcooked it. Now sauce gives you a nice I wouldn't say it's like very, very hot sauce, it's not but there is nice heat there to it. It's very, very rough there. Remind me a bit of like do you know like a chili sauce where you would get from the um takeaway places, do you know to dip the chips in? I think it's one of them kind of sauces. It's really really nice. So if you ever spot this, please go ahead and try and try it out for yourself. So if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, also consider maybe to subscribe. I'm gonna try and do home well made cook videos more, but I'm just hoping this has gone well. I didn't really want to talk loud in the kitchen because it can be echoey and I don't want people to think I'm talking too loud. So yeah. So I'm going to leave it there now and enjoy the rest of it. Watch a bit of TV and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.